right. Um, all right, so I should have, I think, time, so I'm gonna run through this one. So you've got a rod of length L, which is at some angle theta with respect to the horizontal, and the rod's moving with a velocity V. Um, so we're going to use our, um, and we're going to show that the rod, as observed by an observer, um, is is compressed. Uh, so we're going to use our our uh, special relativity equations. So, which is has this form, um, but now we're at an angle. So rather than using uh, this, we have to use. Um, we actually have to use uh, the different directions here. So it's only going to be observed to be compressed in one direction, specifically the direction that it's moving. So if that's its length, then and that's theta, then that's L cos theta, and that's L sine theta. So that means that our x direction is going to be compressed, so our Lx is going to be our x direction, which is L cos theta, square root of 1 minus v squared over c squared. And so our total rod's length is going to be uh, L squared is Lx squared plus ly squared, and our y isn't going to be compressed, so this is going to be l squared cos squared theta, square root of 1 minus v squared over c squared, plus l squared sine squared theta, and um, that square root will no longer be there because it should be squared. And now summing the terms, or separating the terms, we have L squared um, cos squared theta plus sine squared theta uh, minus an L squared cos squared theta V squared over C squared. So just separating and collecting, uh, that equals one. And so, and I'm going to bring out the L squared, so L squared, 1 minus V squared over C squared, cos squared theta. And so our length now, um, I guess I should have called it, uh, in retrospect, um, call this LP. That way it, we can differentiate. So then our LP, uh, taking the square of both sides, or the square root of both sides, is then L root 1 minus V squared over C squared, cos squared theta. And so that was what we were asked to find um, or show. Uh, so that looks good. And then it also wants us to uh, find the new angle and show that the angle is also being altered by the motion. And so if we look, right, our angle is um, Lx, Ly, and we've got a new a theta p, right? And we've got an Lx um, and an Ly. Uh, so Ly isn't being compressed, so we already showed that it's only x that's being compressed. So we've got our Lp. This is still L sine theta, and this is now um, <clears throat> uh, L cos theta root 1 minus uh, v squared over c squared. And so this is our theta p. And so then our tan theta p is equal to 
uh, opposite over adjacent, so L sine theta over L cos theta square root 1 minus V squared over C squared. The L's cancel. Sine theta over cos theta is just tan theta. So then tan theta P is tan theta over root 1 minus B squared over C squared. Um, and usually the, that term is called gamma, so gamma tan theta. Which is again what we were asked to show um, that the angle now goes to a gamma tan theta. So the, the angle that it makes with the horizontal is also changing. It's compressing along the x direction and changing the angle that it makes. Okay, so <clears throat> since the rod makes an angle from the horizontal, uh, length of contraction in both axes, so no, um, it'll just be in the x, but that's probably just a mistake. Um, <clears throat> so the compression along the y is nothing, so it's not being compressed at all, so that's good. And you get this, and then for the angle, um, it's the reg it's the old y divided by the new x, and so gamma is this term. So then tan theta p is gamma tan theta. So that looks good. So that's good. Solution is correct. Oh my god! All right, there we go. Um, all right. So that looks good, and um, that's gonna be um, it for me today, actually. So. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, uh, please subscribe to One Class. If you want to leave questions, you should be able to follow links between, uh, below the videos to submit questions. Uh, this has been uh, Jeff Krause for One Class. And